Hey, welcome to this video. When you are going to keep a price table on your website, you should keep in mind that it will be simple and at the same time, users will be able to clearly differentiate between the features and prices. The ultimate fact is that users can pick the most appropriate plan. So guys, in this video, you are going to see how to use the price table widget. So let's start the tutorial but we'll continue after an intro video. Price table widget. Here I have inserted the widget. I look at the layout sections. There is skin and layout. I come to the layout. From here you can manage the layout of price table. For example, I'm selecting features and price interchange you see price and feature has interchanged their position you can also set feature in at last see features took place at the bottom of the price table this time go to header in middle if you want to take the header in the middle position you can choose this option If you are not interested to show any feature list, you can use these options. See, this time there is no feature. Now come to 6, image under header. If you want to keep image under the header, you can choose these options. But look, there is no image. What's the reasons? Simple. Go to image sections and select image I'm selecting this one and inserting and see the image see there is another options to set the alignment of the image left right with the center now I'm going back to layout sections with default skin, there is two more skin, portrait and irate. You can also use, choose these two skin. I'm selecting the skin portrait, but before I am deleting the last column. I'm selecting portrait and see the portrait skin. Now this is actually the portrait skin. And also you can go for the erect. But it's not looking good. That's why I'm deleting this one. Now see. This is actually the presentation of price table in horizontal mode. Now let's see the rest of the sections. Header. From here, you can change the title of the price table. As I'm doing, I'm, I'm giving premium. See, the title has been changed. Likewise, the title, you can also change the subtitle. Here, I'm giving ticket. Now come to pricing sections. See the currency symbol control. From the drop down you can set the currency symbol. See the currency symbol has been changed. So with the currency symbol you can also set the price. See I'm giving 99.99. From here, you can set the period of the pricing table. And also, you can use another text. I mean, I'm setting the per ticket. Most of the time, we need to show the real price. And for that, you can use the sell switcher button. 
and see this time it's showing the real price you can also reduce or the increase the original price I'm increasing the price since I have set the sale price 9.99 I see here I am hiding the real price. A feature sections. From the sections you can add list item or decrease list item. I am hitting on the second list item and changing the text in normal mode. If you want, you can also set here the tooltip text. Look at the price table. See there is a button named select plan. If you want, you can change the text of the button. For that, you have to go to footer sections. See button text. Here you can give the button text. I'm giving get ticket. There is another option, link. If you give link in this field, the button will be linkable. The section ribbon. If you using the show switcher button, you can allow the ribbon in your pricing table. You can also change the ribbon title like hot. After the title, there is an alignment section. You can set the alignment of the ribbon. Using the scroll, horizontal position, vertical position and rotate. Use this scroll to manage the ribbon button. See as I am doing. Now come to the style tab so that you can style the price table. So hit on the style tab and see there is some repeater header, pricing, features, footer and ribbon. I'm going to header and setting background color. And setting title color from the title subsection. Also I can set the subtitle color and I will continue the process for pricing this time setting the price text color now come to feature section and giving the same color same background color and giving text color white finally I'm going to put her section now I'll set the button background color and I'm setting button background color white and text color if you look there is another options hover you can give the hover effect on the button so I'm clicking on the hover and setting hover background color black and text color white and hovering and see the Hope you guys understand you can style the price table as you like just you have to use these options and that's all about the price table widget video tutorial guys that's all about price table video tutorial after the video 
if you face any problem using the price table widget you can check the link below of our dog in the video descriptions and in case you feel you need support you can contact our support forum thanks for watching